Coin on. Hello, YouTube Coin Community. It's Robert with Coin Up. I've had a lot of people ask me, what is it that you find when you go out cherry picking? Well, today's a Monday. It's November the 4th. And I took and I went to a coin store. And I thought, why not take and show you, the fans, what it is that I actually find. You know, I've showed you videos on what I search for. Now, that's just was in the pennies. But I'd like to think that I'm, I, I look for everything, basically. So, I mean, some of the things the builders, they know what they are. I'll explain them as we go along. Others, they take them. But still, I buy them and I get them at a good price because they know I'm into varieties and errors. So they sell them to me because I'm an outlet for them. But here's a look at what I come up with just today. Now, this is strictly for Monday, November 4th. I've been out pretty much all day after we got through doing all of our shipping today from our Friday sales, um, our Friday auctions. Uh, these will also be up for auction shortly, so let's see. Let's take and uh, I'll go through them and point out a few. I don't know how, I don't know if they're going to be in any particular order. I'm just going to do them, so let's take a look. I'm going to try and do these in the order in which I found them. The first one was pretty obvious. It's an undated, off-center Lincoln Memorial scent. Nothing spectacular about it, but it's just a nice little find to get me warmed up. The next one was a 1940S. This is the RPM number one. You can see it right here. Now this next one will be a little bit harder, but it's a 1964 Kennedy half dollar. D, I'm sorry, 64D, and it has an RPM. I haven't looked it up yet, so I don't know which one it is. Took a little break from the, some scrap silver, and I started looking in some of the Morgan dollars that the guy had had. And this first one is an 1882 O over S. Now the S is broken, and I believe it's a VAM 5. Pretty nice. I enjoy it. It's probably a nice AU condition. The next one, my beautiful wife, Florida Lena, found. Now, she was taking and looking in the scrap silver as I was doing other things. And she took and she showed me this 1955 Bugs variety. Good finding. Congratulations, Florida Lena. Uh, the next one don't need no uh, introduction. It's the 1888-0 oh, Morgan Dollar, the famous Hot Lips. Uh, this is a nice example. This will be set for sale in one of my upcoming auctions. Pretty nice coin. Not a bad find. Okay, next up, not quite as dramatic, but I found a 1950 D over D Washington Quarter. I believe this to be RPM number one. It's not in bad shape, and it'll be nice for somebody who's collecting that series. Next one I found, I'll tell you what, I was very shocked by this. Um, I have a feeling Coin Dragon's going to love this one. It's a 1924. It's a Woody, and it's got a beautiful clip, and it's in wonderful condition. So, Frank, be on the lookout, my buddy. It's going to be for sale one day soon. Uh, next up, I took and I started looking at some proof and mint sets. And the first thing I come across was a 1964 proof set with the accented hair. Now this also has the pointed tail dime in it. And then I took and I was actually getting ready to buy some mint sets and I took and I started going through some of the mint sets and I come across this 1974 mint set and it had the 74D double die obverse Kennedy half dollar in the set. Not a bad find for just you know, looking to buy some stuff. Okay next I happen to be going through some nickels and I took and I found this 1952 proof nickel. And it's got the hand engraved ponytail. Pretty cool find. And here we go. This is a very famous, well-known, the 1909 VDB with the double die obverse. Now here you can see the date. A lot of people are going to say, hey, but it's shelf-like. And it's going right back into itself. That's got to be machine doubling. Well, that's why I decided to take a picture here of Liberty and show you the split serifs. So, it's definitely a true double die. 
Now, next I took and I happened to see a couple of uncirculated quarters. This is just one of the two that I found. However, these are the 1934 Light Motto. They are really nice, um, and they do have extra value to them, so I went ahead and picked them up. Now, finally, the one that is my pride and joy for the day is this one right here. A 1945 Mercury Dime in uncirculated condition, and it's a double die obverse. This, I believe, is the double die number five. There you have it. Uh, besides taking and picking a few other things that are more minor, I'm not going to bore you with them. This is primarily what I found today, besides what we purchased for stock uh, to sell at our auctions. So I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Uh, these are the varieties I got. Now this video was not designed to take and brag on what I get. This is to show you, the fans, that you can go out to the coin shops and you can find varieties. Be kind, become friends with a dealer. Um, I take and I'm the kind of person that I don't mind sharing the wealth. So the dealers I go to, I let them know what I find. Uh, I pay them a little extra. Now, I'm still getting a good deal on them and it's enough for me to take and bring you many, many new varieties at all times to show, tell, and to sell at our auctions. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, we hope you hit the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscription button and come join us. We have a lot of educational videos that you can go back and look at that we've already done in the past. I intend to redo a few. Plus, I've had some fans make some suggestions, ones on the modern dollar coins. Now, I'll be taking and doing one that you can find in your pocket change. Uh, if you go to the bank and ask them, a lot of times they like to get rid of them because they have to count them separately. A lot of times you can find rolls just like this right here, brand new, never been opened. I get them from the banks all the time. But these ones that you can look for and find can bring you literally thousands of dollars. Um, here's one that I found. It's been a while ago, but it's the Speared Eagle. I'll give you better shots of that when I do the video on it. It'll be one of the ones that we do. But this is what you can find in your pocket change, and it was given to me as a suggestion from one of you, the fans. So do me a favor. Go down in the comment section, make a comment, make a suggestion on a video you would like to see me do. Now it's got to be coin related and variety related. So um, again, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and we hope you liked it and you hit the thumbs up. Take care everybody. Have a good time. And as I always like to say, happy hunting. Thank you.